here we have another problem where we're going to utilize the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, it's, I guess it's a word problem. It's not more of a story problem like the one that we had before, but basically we're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. It says the measures of a triangle are four feet, 10 feet, and nine feet. Will the triangle form be a right triangle? Now we know that for a triangle, if it's a right triangle, it has to follow the Pythagorean theorem. So once again, we write the Pythagorean theorem. You all should be good with that. Now, now a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, and then we have to identify our values like we always do. Now here, we're not given a picture. We can't really make a picture. We're basically gonna to test to see if we will get a right triangle. And to do that, we need to uh, fill our values in. We know that our hypotenuse C has to be the longest side. So when I look up here, the longest side will be 10. And then the others don't matter. We have a four, we have a nine. And then we just substitute those values in. So we get four squared plus nine squared equals 10 squared. Now with these, you can use your calculator, but you should know that four squared, four times four is 16. You should know that nine squared, nine times nine, is 81, and you should know that 10 squared, 10 times 10, is 100. Next, we just add those values. 16 plus 81 is going to give me 97, and then you ask yourself, does 97 equal 100? In this case, it does not. Even though it's close, some students might say it's only a way by three, it doesn't matter. It's not a true statement. So when we look at our question, Will the triangle form be a right triangle? The answer is no. Now, if we have a problem that looks somewhat different, like let's say this problem, all right? It says the measures of a triangle are five foot, three feet, and four feet. Will the triangle form be a right triangle? Once again, same setup here is gonna apply. We start off by writing our Pythagorean theorem and then identifying our values. We know that C, our hypotenuse, is gonna be the longest side and the others don't matter. So when we substitute those in, we get three squared plus four squared. Sorry, my dog is going crazy. Equals five squared, all right? I gotta switch in video and teach. All right, when we do three squared, we get nine. When we do four squared, we get 16. And when we do five squared, we get 25, all right? The next thing that we need to do is add these values up. 16 plus nine or nine plus 16, same thing, is 25. And 25 does equal 25. So in this case, this will form a right triangle. So when we look here, the question, the measures, um, five, three, and four, will it form a right triangle? The answer is gonna be yes, because we got a true statement. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask on Google Classroom or send me a DM on uh, the Instagram. All right, have a good day, bye.